as we mentioned before, any business process or any event has two sides. We have measured side and we have event details or business process details, which is a dimension side. And as we know, in any fact table, we have measures columns, some columns representing measures, which is the output or outcome of a business process or an event. And we have some columns representing dimensions. Regarding measures, we have three types of measures. We have additive measures, semi-additive measures, and non-additive measures. So what is the difference? Additive measures, we can summarize or we can aggregate our measure columns across all dimensions exist in a fact table. Don't worry about it. We will take an example for each type. But for now, we just put a general definition for each type. Semi-additive, we can summarize or aggregate measures across some of available dimensions. Not all dimensions available in the fact table, but we can summarize or aggregate over a certain dimension columns, not all available dimensions on the fact table. Non-additive, we cannot summarize or aggregate our measures across any of available dimensions in the fact table. So let's start by the first example. As we said, additive measures, it means we can summarize or aggregate measures over all available dimensions in the fact table. For example, here we have sales coming from a certain customer and purchase operation done by a certain employee in a certain job. So we have job ID, employee ID, customer ID, which we can consider all of these three columns as dimensions because all of these columns representing details or information about the business process or about purchase events and sales, which is the measure, the quantitative measures. Currency, we can consider it as a dimension if we have multiple currencies or purchase operation can be accepted using multiple currencies. So we can also consider currency as a dimension. So in additive measures like sales here, we can aggregate or do any aggregation operation on our measures across all of our dimensions. For example, we can group or aggregate sales per employee ID. So we can aggregate, for example, what is the total sales for employee number 50? Or what is the total sales for employee number 60 or number 7? Or who is the employee who achieved the maximum sales? We can do maximum over sales measures per employee ID or per employee dimension. We can do aggregation or summary for our sales measure over a shop. So we can say, for example, the shop with the maximum sales, the shop with the minimum sales. Or we can aggregate sales over all shops. So then now we did an aggregation or a summarized operation over our sales measure per employee dimension and the bare shop dimension. We can do the same also per customer dimension. For example, we can say get the maximum sales per customer. So we can extract customer ID 900. What is the maximum sales or maximum purchase we have done in our shop? Or we can say get the maximum sales over all customer dimension to know the customer who made the maximum sales or who made the maximum revenue for us. And we can do the same operation per currency. So as we can see, our sales measure, we can aggregate, get the maximum, minimum, sum, average, median, all of our aggregation function over all available dimension in the fact table. We can get some maximum or minimum over a shop ID, over employee ID, customer ID, and also over currency. So in this case, we call sales measure as an additive measures. 